If you woke up with a headache this morning like I did, you may have reached for an over-the-counter pain reliever. Millions of people do that every day, and there's usually no problem. Over-the-counter pain relievers are effective for treating minor aches and pains, but they're only safe if you follow the directions. That's particularly important with acetaminophen, the active ingredient in many over-the-counter and prescription medicines that are used to relieve pain or reduce a fever. Acetaminophen is generally safe at recommended doses, but if you take more than that, even just a little more, it can cause serious, even fatal, liver damage. In fact, acetaminophen poisoning is a leading cause of liver failure in this country. You don't have to look too far to find acetaminophen. It's sold under a number of brand names, such as Tylenol, and it's often included with other ingredients in over-the-counter cough and cold medicines, as well as sleep aids. Acetaminophen is also found in prescription medicines, such as Vicodin and Percocet, but that may not be clear from the label. If you take several medicines that all contain acetaminophen, you might take more than the recommended dose without realizing it. To avoid taking too much acetaminophen, it's important to know if your medicine contains it. If you're taking an over-the-counter medicine, look for the name acetaminophen on the drug facts label in the section called active ingredients. If you're taking a prescription medicine and you don't know the active ingredients, ask your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist. Then follow all the directions on the drug facts label or the prescription label. For safety's sake, don't take more than one medicine at a time that contains acetaminophen. And don't take more than the maximum amount, even if your pain or fever isn't getting better. Be sure you know how many hours you need to wait before taking another dose. And if you have three or more alcoholic drinks per day, or you have liver disease, this could increase your risk of liver damage. So talk to your doctor before taking medicines that contain acetaminophen. Finally, when giving acetaminophen to children, be sure to use the right formulation for your child's age and weight. Use that formulation in the right amount and at the right time. To avoid error, use the measuring tool that comes with the medicine and keep a record of the times and doses you give your child. Share that record with your child's caregivers so they'll know how much medicine your child has had. So the message is this. If you take acetaminophen, please be careful. Read the label and follow the directions. In the FDA Consumer Corner, I'm Steve Sykes.